Today I'm going to show you an affordable way to measure frequencies in your room, studio, or in a venue that you may be running sound in. The mic I'm going to be using is the Behringer ECM 8000. I got it off Sweetwater for about $35. Um, I think it was free shipping. I mainly wanted an affordable mic that I could carry around with me to different venues. I've used different small diaphragm condensers, um, all types of mics for measurements in the past, but there's not really calibration files for them. Um, it's not that you can't, you know, compare the curve or anything, but this inexpensive mic and hopefully a cal file will make it to where it's a real good tool to have. The case for the mic was real nice. This is a plus once again, because I'm going to be carrying it with me when I go places. And right off the bat, the weight of it feels good. With it being Behringer, you're always kind of weary, but um, the newer stuff, and I know this mic's been around for a long time, but, you know, feels solid. It comes with a uh, little windscreen and a clip as well. So let's go and hook it up. I'm going to be using the SSL 2 Plus. I usually would track things through my interface that I use in the studio, but I plan to use this as my on-the-go rig, so I'm going to plug into the interface to access the monitor. It's just like I'd plug into the mixer. The first program I'm going to be using is Open Sound Meter. It's a free program. It's got multiple views. There's tons of videos on how to use it out there. Basically, you just open it up, set the input to the, your interface, set the output to the meter, get you a good level, and you should be good to go. I'm using white noise and pink noise, then reading it on the graph and the software. This will show you where it's high in certain areas and low in others based on the spectrum. The next program I'm using is REW, Room EQ Wizard. This is probably the most famous free room measurement software on the market. You can also do the white noise with this, but more importantly, you can do the sweeps, and I can upload my cow file for the microphone. So it'll make it a little bit flatter because it's adding in the frequency curve of the mic. You set your interface up the same way with this. The only difference is it can do a round trip test so it can calculate for the noise of the interface. And it won't read if you're not at a certain gain level. You can do different gain tests. It's a little more precise so you get better readings with it. So I run it a couple times and now you can see the difference in the one with the cow file and without. You can see there's a few dips in the room around 500 and around 2K. Some of those are early reflections, and some of those are just kind of uh, base buildup, different things I've been working with. But in the Room EQ Wizard, you can get a lot better look at it uh, with A and B in and with moving the axis around. If you're below about 5 dB of, of peaks and lows, that's not too bad, but it's when it gets above that that it really becomes a concern. But, I mean, hey, who doesn't want their room to be completely flat? So next, we're going to be moving into the venue, this uh, local place I run sound at, Hal and Miles. It's been in business for over 50 years. It's got uh, really four venues in one. We're in the red room. Biggest difference with this that you got to calculate in is room noise. I'm going to be tying everything into the console, just like it's the interface, using the laptop. I'm just using the open sound meter software in here, once again, because like the bar is getting set up, you can hear a lot of stuff going on in the background. So. The sweep I don't think will be accurate anyway, but you can still get a real great reading. The whole setup, honestly, you get for around uh, 200 bucks plus your computer. If you want to see some more content like this, let me know in the comments. This is Rhett with the Heights Lab. Thanks for watching. I got a whole lot more on the way.